Why do albums all have different volume levels? This question comes from Bertrand in Lausanne, Switzerland. As I listen to music album after album, I must always play with the volume of my integrated amp. Some albums are too loud, some are too quiet. How is this? How can an album have its own volume if the output of my DAC is always the same? Thanks a lot for your great videos. I've learned a lot. And by the way, your house and your area are beautiful. I must absolutely consider visiting Boulder when traveling will be possible again. And Bertrand, you'd be most welcome. And boy, talk about lovely countries. Switzerland, ah, oh, my God. Boulder doesn't hold a candle to you guys. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm, I don't know if you can see it. This is a 3D printing machine. Most of you have probably seen these by now. Um, that's making all the noise. It's currently printing out a new baffle for our speaker so that Chris can play with it. And it just slowly sits here, night, goes, and we, we make big stuff out of it. Some, some of these things have been this high. This whole bed raises up. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, not quite the transporter or the, what, what is it? Earl Grey hot, <laughs> Captain Kirk used to do, right? And uh, Oh, the replicator, that's what it was. It was a replicator. Anyway, on to more mundane subjects such as albums. First off, there is a uh, sort of a, a, a little bit of a disconnect here. Your DAC is always at the same level, which means that for any given input signal, um, you're always going to get the same out. So if I produce one volt of output, or I, if we do it in terms of dB, you know, um, uh, minus 10 dB, you're right, it will always be the same. That'll never change. The difference is maybe we could express that as dynamic range. Your transport, your CD player, your DAC, whatever is connecting to it, let's just say it's a 16 bit device. It has a dynamic range of 100 dB, 96, right? We can call it 100. Now that means that from the quietest to the loudest, we have a huge range. Now within that range, um, you, you, you've got a huge variance for 100 dB is, that's a, you can't hear anything to it's really loud, depending on where you have your volume control. So if you leave your integrated volume control always the same, and your DAC always the same, then the differences in level will always be from the source. And just as when an orchestra plays and it gets real quiet and then gets louder, that is always going to be stable and the same every time you play it. But from album to album, it could be different because the recording engineer or the mastering engineer made it that way. So there really aren't any standards that mastering engineers adhere to on a regular basis. I mean, years ago they probably did. Today it's all over the map. So when I listen to a reference recording, they have a lot of dynamic range and Keith Johnson at reference likes to run everything low. So I've, I, I crank my preamp up by 20 numbers. My DAC's always the same. But the BHK preamp, when I play a reference, goes up where I normally listen is at maybe 40. I will play a reference recording at 60. And that's just because Keith wants his overall presentation to be lower for whatever reason. And then when I play a commercial disc, whoa, that's way too loud. That's because it's mastered hotter. And that's all up to the mastering engineer and the recording engineer. So complain to them. <laughs> but it's not your equipment, it's not your DAC, and you're, you're doing great. And I do hope you have a chance to visit us someday. All right. Great question. Thank you. Um, I'll talk to everybody tomorrow or the next day, whenever. All right. Bye.